Hello ladies and gents, uh, Brett Baker here, trombone with the Black Dyke Band, and I've been asked to put together um, a five minute workshop session um, talking about maybe what we do um, during these times where we're on in lockdown and uh, not really able to do too much more other than uh, paint the practice room, which I've done already, paint the kitchen, which I've done already, sorted out my music into alphabetical order. So hopefully this will be a couple of tips on things that you can think about whilst um, isolated and uh, thinking of what can we practice. First thing that I would uh, suggest is, because we haven't maybe got any concerts or contests at this time, is uh, to think about changing the routine around a little bit. So I'm going to talk about that next. I would suggest this is a really good time to think about practicing those things that normally we don't get time to do. So for instance, um, fast tonguing, extreme high register, extreme low register. And a lot of these things can be practiced using existing study books and then just playing them up the octave, playing them down the octave. Um, and so doing a lot of the same studies that you might already have, but spicing them up a little bit, playing them faster, playing them slower, playing them legato. Um, there are a lot of good books out there, and I would suggest um, the Alan Vazuti books are really good. The Herbert Clark books are really good. Um, I'd also suggest the uh, Derek Bourgeois study books are great. All these for um, technique when it comes to trombone playing, um, but also in terms of phrasing. One of the things that I'll tend to do when I know that I've got a bit of time on my hands, which actually isn't very often other than um, these last couple of weeks, and that would be um, to build up my um, stamina and to also build up um, range in terms of loud playing and soft playing and uh, also working on breath capacity. And I would use a book called Systematic Approach to Brass Playing. Um, here's the book. Systematic Approach to Daily Practice. Uh, this one's for trumpet, but uh, I'm sure it's available also in bass clef. So I would have um, a look at that book and I would do some exercises out of that book. Um, basically, you're looking at trying to build up breath capacity, um, play phrasing, um, something like this. <laughs> idea is to play until you run out of air and to play up and down the partials. It's a really effective book from that point of view. Um, it's um, severe in its approach and uh, it shouldn't be taken lightly but in this time of uh, isolation why not give that book a try and go through some of the exercises. We've certainly all got time at the moment to do it. My advice would be when it comes to practice is do um, short little interludes. So do a little bit of practice in the morning, do a little bit of a warm up session, um, then do a little bit before lunch and then maybe three o'clock. Um, it's now around about four o'clock. So this is um, a good time for me to practice after doing a, a little bit of a session in the morning. And then perhaps I'd also play a little bit later on. But I'm not looking to do uh, hours and hours of practice. I'm just looking at doing intense periods of uh, maybe 40 minute sessions and this can be really really useful and can build up your stamina it can also help you with uh, enjoyment of playing try and find pieces of music which you maybe haven't played for ages and ages which you really enjoy and have a look at them and play through them hopefully that'll help my last bit of advice would be if you are for instance a euphonium player why not try playing one of the other instruments why not look at trombone if you're a trombone player maybe look at alto trombone um, if you're a euphonium player look at doing a bit of tuba practice um, these things can help to develop your lungs, to um, approach the instrument differently. And when you go back to your original instrument, you'll really enjoy it after playing uh, another instrument. So why not try some of these things um, during these challenging times? I'd also like to say I hope you all stay fit and healthy. I hope um, that we come through this together uh, and look forward to seeing you on the other side. Um, thank you very much for listening.